Herzlich willkommen zu einem Schweizer Norwegen Elektrosautos, der Tesla Model S und der Björn Nieland. Das ist das Thema der Sendung. In Norwegen werden seit mehreren Jahren die Elektrosautos extrem vom Staat gefördert. Das hat dazu geführt, dass die Anzahl Elektrosautos regelrecht exportiert ist. Wir haben letzten Juni die Elektrodauer erzählt, wo zwischen Viertel ab 8 und Viertel ab 9 bis Stabek westlich von Oslo vorbeifahren sind. Wir haben 735 Elektrosautos gezählt, also 1 alle 5 Sekunden. Einer der beliebtesten Automodelle in Norwegen ist der Tesla Model S. Einer von den vor viel weiss ist der Björn Nieland, der einen erfolgreichen Videoblog über Tesla S auf YouTube führt. Sobald das Auto erhältlich war, hat er sein BMW verkauft und einen Tesla angeschafft, weil es das einzige Elektroauto war, das zu ihm gepasst hat. Well, for me, I needed the long range and Tesla today has, is the only car that can offer long range. I mean, there are some other cars that offer long, long range, but the difference between Tesla and the other cars is that they have supercharger. That makes a huge difference. With supercharger, we can go almost anywhere in Europe. I look at the app and it's uh, finished. But um, what the heck? Dude, where's my car? I mean, which one is it? Well, we have many uh, incentives in Norway. Uh, for instance, you can drive on, uh, on the bus lane. Uh, you don't pay toll roads. Uh, you can pretty much charge for free. You can park for free. Uh, you get free, well, you get free ferry, but um, you have to pay for the passenger and the driver. 28. 28? Oh, so good. Så bra! Ja. Hvor mye vil det koste hvis jeg måtte betale for bilen? Ja, 71. 71? Nå skal vi se. Dadurch ist ein Tesla in Norwegen bis zu ein Drittel vom Preis vom äquivalenten Benziner, wie ein BMW M5 und ein Audi A8. Der Tesla ist mehr erfahren der Computer als das Auto. So, uh, the car is, in a way, it's always on. So, like right now, we have heater on and, you know, everything, the map, everything is on. But uh, the car is in uh, in a, like an off mode. So uh, to start driving, uh, there is no start button. All you have to do is press the brake pedal, like this, and then it flips around, and you put it in gear, drive, and then off we go. Wie in a computer bekommt das Auto Updates und neue Funktionen. Yeah. Well, it gets it over the air. So uh, here you can see the current firmware version. Uh, and uh, if I get an update, I will get a notification. Uh, it will ask me if you want to update right now or at uh, any given point. You know. so. Durch den extrem starken Elektromotor ist die Beschleunigung extrem. Eher wie eine Achterbahn als ein Auto. Von 0 bis 100 in 4,4 Sekunden. Okay. Sonderbar. Ja. <lacht> Alles im Auto wird über die zentrale Touchscreen eingestellt. Wir wollen eine konfigurierte Car. Hey, wir können konfigurieren, you know, uh, was kann man. Wir wollen eine auf low Suspension, uh, the Steering Mode, uh, hier ist ein Cold Weather Package. Uh, maybe wir wollen some Seat Heaters für den Passenger in the Back. Und wir haben Heated Wipers. Das ist eine Cold Package Option. Yeah, uh, which is probably very useful for Norway. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, actually, this one is I found it less useful because you can preheat the car yeah. from the app. So um, and also in the settings here, you have lots of custom uh, custom settings. You can switch it to miles and whatever. You know, many of these settings in conventional car, you have to go to the dealer to switch from kilometers to miles. Now we can just do it. Now we can do it 50 miles per hour instead of yeah, 80 kilometers per hour. So. Lots and lots of settings and new settings will be rolled out. I mean, like yeah. new features. Yeah. You see, they, they still have empty space here to put uh, new buttons and whatever. The Björn is in a year fast around 1000 km with his Tesla. We took a trip to uh, North Cape this uh, Easter and we also done a, a Europe road trip uh, all the way to Switzerland, also actually. 
Uh, but um, most of the kilometers, are, you know, we drive in, on weekend trips to Bergen, Stavanger, uh, Trondheim, and we, we have been almost all over Norway now. Die Reise zum Nordgrad ist vor allem Brexit nach der Jagd zum nächsten Lader. Obwohl der Björn alles durchgeplant hat, ist nicht alles nach Plan gelaufen. We are now in uh, Moshen. I'm almost out of juice, 24 kilometers left, and there's supposed to be um, a red plug here. There's the plug. There's the plug. Oops. But the only problem is there's a fucking truck in front of it. Hey. 16 amp, 16 amp. No power. The key is in his car, and I'm, uh, someone borrowed his car. Which means I'm stuck here with no power, 20 kilometers left. Here. The fuse, the fuse box should be somewhere here. Okay. Let's see, please try 16 amp. And now leaving Buda and heading for Lofoten, Moskines. So everywhere I go, especially in the, in the north, you know, people that come to the car and they're like, oh, whoa, is this a Tesla? Yeah, and, and the, it's always fun to show them uh, the front. Yeah, say, so, yeah, here's the big engine. Like, there's the engine. Yeah. So um, I got access to the red plug in the Yamaha. Uh, uh, and then, uh, because this is a 16 amp, I use a UMC. So, it is now charging at 400 volt. We are now on our way to Nullkap. Uh, <laughs> the view here is just breathtaking. It's insane. This is it. This is Nullkap. Und was sonst alles passiert ist und der Rest ihrer Film sowie der Rückwart, sieht man auf dem Björnsi Blog. Die Reise in die Schweiz ist auch nicht gerade leer gesehen. Als erstes, dass sie Tesla auf der deutschen Autobahn müssen testen. We are now uh, right outside the Flensburg in uh, Germany. Um, in this road there are no speed limits. So uh, here we go. Holy shit, the cars are passing fast now. So now it's time to release the power of Tesla Model S performance. Oh yeah. Oh, I forgot something. Lower the car. <laughs> 180, that was 180. Now I'm doing 140 kilometers per hour and the noise level here is actually quite good. Do you know why? Because the tarmac is smooth, unlike the tarmac in Norway. The trip over here was uh, about 150 kilometers from Flensburg. And um, yeah, we spent a lot of energy in Liechtenstein and uh, we are going to uh, uh, to Zurich, uh, but uh, first we are winter tour. Wie es in der Schweiz genau ein Supercharger hat, haben die beiden viel Zeit gehabt, um Zeug zu anschauen. When I enter, I get this card. Oh, well, like every other places, but um, to activate the chargers, I need to, you know, register here, and then a charge cost five euro, uh, five, uh, yeah, check franc. But there is a red plug here, and it's powered. So I guess that little uh, uh, tip, if you wanna uh, charge free, I guess you can do it here. We are now in Zurich. It's pretty nice here. Um, 
we were amazed by how clean the water is here uh, in the river or yeah river or lake we are at the supercharger in uh, Luli uh, I still don't get the whole uh, maximum 30 minute parking I guess they allow you know, regular cars to park here for 30 minutes but I mean Teslas they sometimes need to park longer so what they're supposed to do with them move the car after 30 minutes there goes another Tesla here in Geneva and how long do you have a charge? it depends on uh, what what kind of charging we have available but on a supercharger, it would usually take uh, 15 minutes to half an hour, uh, typical. So, um, uh, and this one, uh, we are using a 22 kilowatt uh, AC charger right now. So it's, it's what they call a, a semi-fast charger. And this one will usually take uh, a couple of hours to finish charging. And, and the worst case is uh, a domestic plug at home. Uh, that one can take, let's say, 10 hours, typical. But then again, if you want to do uh, like a, if you want to charge from empty to full, that will take you know twice as long as what I mentioned before. Hmm. Saito runs with his own app. With the app, you can do uh, basic operations with a car. Right now, I'm looking at the, how much range I have and where the car is. And uh, if I go to controls, here I can uh, unlock the car. You know, uh, honk the horn, flash the lights, or yeah, you see, <laughs> I just honked the horn. And uh, even open the panorama roof on a hot summer day. Yeah, there you go. What's the Frau from Björn for his auto and his reise? She thinks it's okay. She, she loves to go on the trip with me. Uh, sometimes, I think, yeah, it's, uh, she likes it. Yeah. Getting around in Norway, see a lot of uh, beautiful uh, landscape. I think the only thing that uh, she kind of dislikes is uh, waiting for charging. Uh, but that only happens for um, when we have slow chargers. At supercharger, it's really fast anyway, so that's not an issue. Mehr zum Tesla und um Björn geht's auf dem Videoblog. So, das ist gesehen für das Mal. Wenn ihr Fragen oder Angehörigen habt, schreibt mir eine E-Mail auf norwegen.polybos-studio.ch Alle unsere alten Folgen auf unserem YouTube-Kanal gesehen, in HD. Und für die neuesten Updates und Insta-Informationen auf unserer Facebook-Seite. Auf Wiedersehen und bis zum nächsten Mal.